Hello friends, my name is Dr. Puryu Dhawan and today in this video I will tell you about that test that will help a patient of kidney failure to check the severity of damage happening inside the body at the current time. When a patient of kidney failure go for kidney function test in which we see the levels of ketamine, that ketamine level tell us about what kind of damage already happened inside the body. But with the help of protein test in urine, we can check the severity of the damage which is happening at the present time. When we work on the present, we can make our future better because we can't change the past. But when we work, when we act at the present time, our future becomes better. So to check the severity of damage happening inside the kidney, we need these urinalysis reagent strips. These strips are easily available on Amazon, you can order online. Now when we receive these strips, these strips contains two kinds of paper on it. One is yellow and another is green. With help of these paper, we can check the severity of damage happening inside the body. Now this is a sample of urine and this is the strip. So when you pass your first urine in the morning, all you have to do, you have to dip this stick into the urine and take it out and wait for 30 seconds. Now you can see yourself the paper has changed its color from yellow to green and it's coming out right around like 100 plus that means 2 plus of protein is coming in the urine. Now if the protein is in traces or nil that shows there is no damage is happening inside the kidney. As the level of the protein in urine increases it tells us about the severity of damage happening inside the kidney. If we stop this protein with the right kind of treatment, with the right kind of diet, with the right kind of measures, what will happen? The level of ketamine will stop increasing and that will help the patient to live a longer life and non-complicated life. Now, when the protein starts coming in the urine, this condition is known as protein urea. This protein urea is a symptom of kidney failure when the level of the kidney are normal and protein urea is happening inside the body. That means there is some kind of damage is happening. And when this damage increases above 30%, then only the level of kidney start increasing. So with the help of this urine test, we can predict the kidney's damage much before then the raise of the kidney level. And what happens, there is only protein urea in the patient and the level of kidney increases after 4-5 years. So with the help of this test, we can evaluate the kidney's condition much before then the kidney failure starts happening. So it's very important for all kidney failure patients to perform this test on a weekly basis so that we can check the severity of damage happening inside the body. This test also helps the patient and doctors to work swiftly because protein is very important for our body. When the level of protein, albumin, globulin goes down in the body, the blood becomes thinner. And as it becomes thinner, the fluid which is present inside the blood escapes into the extracellular spaces causing edema in the body, pedal edema, swelling around the legs. And as the level of the protein goes down in the blood, other complications start happening like anemia, weakness, fatigue. Now the question arises how we can stop this proteinuria in a kidney failure patient. First to control the level of creatinine, urea and also the protein in urine we have to understand why the damage is happening inside the kidney. We have to rule the cause of kidney failure. Once we rule out the cause of the kidney failure that this is the cause of kidney failure in your case we have to cut it down. Suppose the patient is suffering from kidney failure because of hypertension and the BP remains high. What will happen? It will cause further damage to the kidney. Suppose the patient is suffering from diabetic nephropathy. That means the kidney has been damaged because of high sugar level. And even after taking treatment, the sugar level remains high. What will happen? The kidney will keep you know, damaging and the level of kidney and urea will kept increasing. So we have to take that particular cause of kidney damage down so that the further damage to the kidney can be easily stopped. Now in second step of any kidney failure treatment, we have to work on kidney's function because kidney's functions are to filter out all the waste metal from the body, to control the level of fluid, to control the level of electrolyte in the body. For that purpose, we need kidney function and increasing kidney function is the only way that will help a patient of kidney failure to survive this deadly disease. In third step of kidney failure treatment, we have to work on the nephrons because they are the functional unit of the kidney. They filter out all the waste metal from the body. 
we have to strengthen up those cells because uh, not all patients of hypertension suffer from kidney failure. One out of four patients of hypertensive suffer from kidney failure. So there is something which is protecting these three patients. Now again in the case of diabetic nephropathy, one out of four patients of diabetes suffer from kidney failure. Again, three patients are not suffering from kidney failure because there is something which is protecting those patients. And we consider this is the cellular stealth that helps the patient to survive all kind of these you know, ailments. We have to provide that particular cellular strength to the nephrons so that those nephron cells can work better than before so that they can survive this kind of ailments. So I request all the viewers, if you see your urine as frothy, don't consider it as normal. Go for your urine protein test and if the urine protein test come as positive, don't take it lightly because it's telling about the kidney's health, what is happening inside the body. It's time to consult the right doctor so that, that this deadly disease of kidney failure can be easily avoided. Now I hope with this video of mine we have learned what is causing protein urea in a kidney failure patient and what is the significance of this test. This test tells us about the severity of damage happening at the present time. And if we work on the present condition, we can save our future. If you have any kind of question query regarding kidney failure, you can simply call our doctors on the number given below. You can send your reports through WhatsApp email on the same details given below. Once our doctors evaluate that particular report, they will call you back and they will recommend you kidney function restoration treatment accordingly and you can start the treatment. But before starting the treatment, you have to go for your kidney function test. You have to check your kidney level. And after one month of treatment, you have again go, go for kidney function test. You can see the changes in the reports. You can see the changes in the level of creatinine and urea within a month. Now it's time to say goodbye. See you in the next video. Till then, Namaste.